And if, if, stay, don't move. Yeah, I think so too. This is Brett. <laughs> so, the big talk when you look on the internet with this boat is people want to know when it's going to be out there and ready to, you know, pull a normal amount of skiers and not have to worry about running out of electricity with a four hour break. When's that coming? The, if I'm looking at the way that the battery packs are moving forward within the year right now, uh, I can, if we're just rechanging the whole thing right now, we could probably gain 25% on the spot. I'm expecting that within a year we'll be like 50% more powerful, let's say, or having more stamina over it because like the new battery pack is way better than it is. Think about your cell phone where it has three years that we change. So based on that, it's going to be also a matter afterward of which all manufacturers will work. Uh, we know that with Correct Craft, the way that they're going, we're working also with some different other company in other segment of market. And uh, everyone is like looking at it and saying, okay, I'd love to use my one of my best all for doing it. But then once again, I, if I can use this other all for making it happen, then it might be the way of making it. Which is what we're thinking with the 196 now that we're all aware that Correct Craft is not making it anymore on the market, mm -hmm. but that could make a great electric ski boat right now because the integration by itself is done. So answering back to your first question, I'll say you can buy it now. But that okay. would be made out of a 196 all. Okay. If out I of a 200 all, that would be, uh, if you're looking at number wise, I do expect 90, uh, 2012 might be a little bit short because thing that the boat would be, has to be ready by July which is only four months from now, not even four months from now. So, but then once again, 13 is pretty close because 13 is only 14 months ahead. Yeah. So I do expect that in thir year 13, with Correct Craft is going to work. It's already working in some other, that would be feasible in 2012 with some other market like a pontoon is on and all that, but for the water ski market, that'll be probably in 13. Okay, so what are we looking at for price? Are we looking at a similar price to a gas engine? Uh, I'll, I'll take the comparison of the car business right now. Like if you're looking at an electric car on the market now, we gotta put a little bit more money than regular gas uh, It has to be like that because the gas by itself, which is the battery, we're selling them to you right now. So if I'm looking at, when I'm selling you a boat like that, I'm selling you like 10,000 gallons of gas over on top means that the price, if I'm saying to you like that's going to be an extra 80 Gs as an example, but keep in mind I'm selling you right now 10,000 10, gallons of gas, which is what, three bucks in the state right now for a gallon. So all of that 80 Gs, I got to take off 30 Gs for the battery pack. Yeah. So it's like buying your gas for the next 10 years because we're we're on a 2,000 recharging scale, I should say, I don't know what is the cycle, cycle yeah. sorry. So, which is roughly a thousand hour of boating. A thousand hour of boating is roughly 10 years of the average guy on the day. So, in your, your next 10 years, you know that your gas, which is now battery energy, is a dead cost of $30,000. Well, it's not a dead cost because you still have to plug it in at the end of the day and charge it. How much does it charge to cost to charge this thing from nothing till full? Nothing till full is about $2. Here in Quebec, which is cheap, it's not even $2. That's pretty good. Pause.